Hi Bobby. Hello Anirudhan. So what shall we do today? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we should solve some problems. Because this Tevin and Norton theory is very nice. Because unless we do some uh, problems, enough grip will not be there. I completely agree. <laughs> right? For so, basic circuit analysis, you have to do more yes, and more problems. Yes, yes. Let's do it. I was looking at the textbook. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a very simple but nice problem. Okay. So, there is a voltage source. Okay. Um, and a resistor in series. Okay. And uh, a current source it's parallel a, to it. This is DC, right? This is DC. 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 Okay. And uh, okay, voltage, so we are in series. Yeah. Uh, uh, current source is parallel to that. Oh, current source, okay. Okay. And a resistor parallel to the voltage. Resistor parallel to that as well. Okay. <coughs> yeah. And that's it. And the RL is connected. I like already that. stopped. I, I don't want to make it more complicated. <laughs> is, is this right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then you have some resistance in parallel. Yeah. Some load resistance. R we call it yeah, RL. RL. Okay. So the voltage is uh, 24 volt. So, what you are saying is this is the load. Correct. <coughs> this is the rest of the network. Yes. I think we want to, Tevin and we always want to identify two nodes, right? Yes. Okay, understood. Yes. So, the voltage is 24 volt. 24 volts. 4 ohm. The this resistor. one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Current is 3 ampere. Okay. The other resistor is 12. 12 ohms. 12 ohms. Yeah. RL may be <coughs> six, 6 ohm for now. Actually, RL can be anything, no? Anything. Because the Thevenin yes. uh, equivalent is valid for the rest yes. of the network. Yes, yes. So, but you are saying it's 6 ohms. Yeah. And uh, we want the Thevenin equivalent. Equivalent, yeah. Understood. So, you want to bring it to something like this. If I draw this, you tell me if this is correct. So, this is what you want. Exactly. Right? So, you have V Thevenin and R Thevenin. R Thevenin. And RL. RL. So, if I were to show... So, this is what we want to do. Exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, first the open circuit voltage. Open circuit voltage. We said that V Thevenin is the. So, let me mark these nodes as A and B. Yeah. So, across A and B, we need to find the open circuit voltage. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. So, first step, right? Yeah. The first step. We will copy paste. Yeah. So, let's copy paste the circuit so that uh, <clears throat> there will be no confusion. B. Okay. Okay, it looks like A and B did not make it, yeah. but we'll 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 yeah. mark it here. Yeah. Yeah. So A and B. E. I'll remove all of this. Yeah. <coughs> In and fact, we don't need RL. Yeah, exactly. Right? We'll remove it. That's also confusing. Yes. Okay. So um, two sources are there. Two sources are there, and we want to Find out V A B in this condition yeah. because we have open circuited R L. Correct. Set R L to infinity. Okay. Since there are two sources, we use superposition. Superposition. That is the easy way. Yeah. So first step, we will apply <coughs> uh, twenty four L. Apply twenty four L. Right. Okay. We'll redraw the circuit like this. Yeah. So the three amp current source needs to be de-energized. Correct. Open circuited. Always. Right. Current source removal means open circuit. Yeah. Okay, so which means I'll have 24 volts, 4 ohms, and, and parallel 12 ohms. Yeah. <coughs> so we need to know the voltage across the voltage V A B. Yeah. Right? Yeah. V A B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is so I like to use this down arrow. A is positive, B is negative. Yeah. B A minus B B. Mm. This is easy. It's a resistive divider. Yeah, yeah. So it is twelve by twelve plus twelve. Twelve plus four is sixteen. Correct. So it's twelve by sixteen times twenty four. Correct. So this is twelve by sixteen times twenty four volts. So three by two is that right? Twenty four is eight times three. Sixteen is eight times two. So it's three by two. 18 volts. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 18 volts. So, this is, uh, I call this VAB1. This is the first step of your superposition. And its polarity? Its polarity is positive at A and negative at B. Yeah. Right? Mm. Okay. And then the next step, of course, 
is to apply 3 amperes alone. Yeah. So, the 24 volts has to be short circuited now. Correct, correct. Right? <clears throat> okay. So, now I have one current source and two resistors. Right? Yeah. So, so, 3 amperes. We can do the current division. Current division. I think this also we know how to do. We have in fact developed a rule for this. Um, the current through the 4 ohm resistor is basically the other resistor 12 ohms divided by the sum of the two yeah, yeah. <coughs> times 3. Mm. <coughs> so, actually maybe easier thing is to just find out the effective resistance in parallel. There are many That's ways to do this. Right? right? Yeah. So, we will do it the way you suggested. Yeah. Hmm? So, shall we find out this current? E or uh, this current. Both, current. Are, both yeah. are both are fine, right? <laughs> so, we will do, like <laughs> I said, there are, are five different ways of doing yeah, it. Yeah. So, this current, uh, so, I12 I'll call it. So, that is 3 into 4 by... So, 3 into 4 by 4 plus 12. Yeah. 12 plus 4 is 16. So, it is 1, 4, 3 by 4. Yeah. 3 by 4 amperes. So and now, VAB now is simply I12 times 12. Correct. Right. So, and with a positive sign. Yeah. So, I'll call that VAB2. Yeah. Is basically... 12 times I12, 3 by 4. Correct. This is uh, 9. Yeah. 9 volts. Yeah. Right? Well. So, VTH is sum VAB of these two. is just the sum of these two. VAB1, uh, VAB1 plus VAB2. So, this is 18 plus 9, 27, 27 volt. volt. And nice. this is V7, right? Yes. Yeah. So, this is your open circuit voltage across AB. Yeah. So, that's great. So, I think this is 27 volts. Yes. That's what you have found. Out. Yes. Okay, excellent. Now, R7. Step two. R7. Yes. yes. Step 2 was R7. We'll paste. Yes. I still have it in the <laughs> memory. So, that's easy. Yeah. Again, I'll remove this. AB. Yes. <coughs> and we have to <coughs> replace these sources with their internal impedance. So with their, we short circuit all voltage sources, de energize all sources. Yeah. So, short circuit voltage sources, open circuit current sources, right? And then find out the effective resistance. I call that some RAB. Mm. Hmm? So, this is what we want to find. Yeah. But, 3 is open so circuit. So, this we want to do. Yeah. And this we want to do. Yeah. Right. So that means four and twelve you are in. Four and parallel. twelve are in parallel. So this is what we want. So this is what we want, and that is easy, right? Yeah. Now it is uh, forty-eight by sixteen, which is three ohms. Correct. <coughs> Done. Okay. Done. This is R seven. R seven. That was pretty quick. <coughs> so, this is 3 ohms. Yeah. Excellent. In fact, now I can see the value. So, I can change RL now from 6. Well, we can do it for analyze the circuit for 6 ohms. Yeah. I can change RL to 60. 1 by 6, I can tell you anything, in fact. So, it makes sense to use the Thevenin or to make the Thevenin equivalent. To circuit. make the Thevenin equivalent. Right? Nice, nice. Okay. So, uh, this makes a lot of sense. We can solve this using not an equivalent also? Sure, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Let's yeah. try that. So, yeah. now basically the not an equivalent. So, uh, let us do one thing. I'll copy now. Yeah. This circuit again. And what we'll do, let us uh, get the not an equivalent for this. <clears throat> so, what uh, we want is we want to make it uh, not an equivalent is of course not a current in parallel with a resistor. Yes. So this is I N R N and you have R N. Yeah. Now the good thing is this is same as R seven N. Correct. We don't have to do that again. Yeah. We only so need to find out I N. Plus three already. Correct. Yeah. In fact, we already saw 
that the Norton current should be V seven n by I seven n R seven. But we will not do that. <laughs> we will not do that. We, yeah. that. we can use that to check. Cross check. Cross check. Mm. Right. Mm. Okay. So we should not take the easy way out the first step. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Let's do this from first principles. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the yeah. definition of Norton current is that short, short circuit current. Correct. Right. Okay. So R L we will replace with the short circuit. Short circuit. Okay. So what we do? So this means we have to solve this network. अप्लाईन we can do superposition again so we are interested in this short circuit current correct we can apply superposition again absolutely so now we will apply 24 volts alone and find out actually it's easy it seems like it is easy no mm. if you have a short circuit this 12 ohms is no longer correct. there correct mm. so <coughs> i'll just write it like this yeah i'll go back to black color so that we don't uh, get confused so i'll just black color Okay, so now with 24 volts alone, uh, it is 24 by 4. It is 24 by 4 because you do this loop, right? right? It is clearly 24 by 4. Yeah. So I'll call this ISC one, 24 volts by 4 ohms. That is clearly 6 amperes. The other one, anyway. The other one is also all three amperes will go to this. Uh, so in this situation, three amperes is open. Uh, in the next one, if you have three amperes alone, what you are saying is right. Uh, the short circuit, twenty-four volts is short circuited. But again, the short circuit is uh, uh, in parallel with four ohms and twelve ohms. Yeah. Three amperes will flow through the short circuit. Yeah. All of this current would basically just flow like this. Yes. Right. So, well, nine the Norton current is simply nine amperes. Nine amperes. Does that make sense? So this is of so course. So multiplication of these two should give VTH. Correct. So nine amperes times three twenty seven volts. Yeah. Perfect. Correct. Perfect. So uh, all our original theory is correct. In fact, this is an example of a circuit. Where, I mean, it's valid for any circuit. Yeah. But we are showing that you know it it holds, right? For uh, for these types of circuits. And so, do you have used superposition in between? Correct. To find out the VTH. To find out the VTH. Yes. But actually, you don't have to. Yeah. Right. It can be other methods also. <laughs> there can be other methods as well. So there are so many methods where you can use superposition. Right, and even without superposition, that you can solve yeah. it. Yeah, actually, you can just write the Mesh equations. Correct, correct. You can do it brute force. And in practice, I can just measure the open circuit voltage. Correct. And uh, how will I know the impedance? Impedance. <laughs> well, uh, well, if you really have a, a, a you know a multimeter, you can just measure the resistance. Ah. Uh. Right. <coughs> you apply a known voltage. Find out the current drawn from yeah. that. Take the ratio. So I can maybe apply just one volt and see what's the current drawn. Correct. So that will be the inverse of the resistance. Correct. That's right. That's mm -hmm. the easiest way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So in fact, now now that we are discussing this, I am getting more ideas. Hmm. So for example, now suppose we assume that seven n and not n are equivalent. Hmm. Right. That's what we proved also. Right? This is also nine times nine uh, times three is twenty seven volts. Yeah. So I am thinking. We could have already have created the Norton for this. Uh -huh. That would have given me a current source and resistance in parallel. Oh. That would have been very easy. Life I would have just added the two currents. Life would have been much easier. Life would have no? been much easier. So, in fact, these are. Can we just try that? Let's try that. These are all simple ways, no? That uh, uh, we can simplify the circuit. Let's let's try that. So that's the source transformation here. Source right? transformation. Uh -huh. So, which is like a very useful technique, correct, right? Correct. So let's try that. So now we go back to the original circuit, and now. So, so we are looking at another way of finding out VTH. VTH, correct. So we'll do it like this. So now we don't want RL here. Mm. This is A and B. Mm. We want to find out uh, VTH, right? And RTH. So what I am thinking is, <coughs> this portion itself, we can do a source transformation. So this looks like a Thevenin equivalent. Correct. Right. I want to convert to Norton. 
So that will be 24 by 4 is the current. Correct. 24 by 4 will be the current. So that would look like this. The polarity is positive on top, negative on bottom. Mm. So current source will be like this. And uh, 4 ohm in parallel. So correct. So uh, 6 amperes and 4 ohms in parallel. Correct. So it will look something like this. Uh -huh. Right? <coughs> and then rest of it? Rest of it will look the same. So I will draw that in black again. And so the rest of the network again, it will look like this. This makes it a little bit easier. Yes. Right? Because suppose I want to find out uh, this is 12 ohms, right? Yeah. And 3 amperes. Suppose I want to find out the short circuit current. It is just 6 amperes plus 3 amperes, 9 amperes flowing. Exactly. So clearly not an one step. Yeah. So in fact, one step instead of doing all of that, it's two current sources in parallel. Correct. They are equivalent to one single current source of the sum of the values. Yeah. And I have to do 12 ohms and 4 <laughs> ohms. Yeah. So there are clearly for these kinds of circuits, there are many, many, many ways of, ways of doing it. Right? So, so this is, it directly results in the not so, as long as do you follow correct method, you will get the final answer correctly. Correct, that's right. Some things will get you there a few seconds earlier. Yes, yes. Some will get you a few seconds late. So, this comes from your experience. I guess. This comes from experience. <laughs> but one thing I can tell, hmm. if you start solving these kinds of comp complicated problems hmm. using mesh analysis, node analysis, hmm. it will, seems like it will take much longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. That is why the minute you know that you are interested only in RL, I think solving mesh node analysis every time will probably yeah, take too long. Yeah. We will give that work to some computer to solve. That's when correct. we do it, we will use these methods. We will use these methods. Correct. Nice.